Bradley Cooper's directorial debut swings big in the remake of the 1976 film A Star Is Born. Is it a home run or a strikeout? I think the best way to describe A Star Is Born is raw, intimate, and authentic. The filmmaking just really grabbed hold of me and sucked me in. The premise of the film is that Bradley Cooper is playing Jackson, and he is a famous musician who is also an alcoholic, and he discovers Lady Gaga's alley in some drag bar just by happenstance, and he is enamored with her, and she has a just tremendous singing voice. And so he befriends her, and then a love story grows from that. The acting in this is phenomenal. I mean, who knew that Lady Gaga could give such an emotionally convincing uh, just performance in this? I mean, she is so just good. And I'm not just talking about her singing. It's the acting, too. I mean, it was so believable. And I just felt every emotion that she's feeling, that she can convey it. And it wasn't this over-the-top thing. A lot of it was very understated. And she's just playing it real. She had such a vulnerability to her that was just so endearing also. Bradley Cooper is totally in his element in this. And his singing voice is great, but his acting, his performance itself was just engaging and so believable, and I loved it. He is tragically powerful in this role. We even get some great performances from Andrew Dice Clay, Dave Chappelle, and Sam Elliott. All of them were so convincing that it just felt natural in everything that they were doing. The cinematography is also outstanding. The rawness and the intimacy that they get from the framing of the shots was just so well done. A lot of it takes place in concert settings, and so sometimes that can feel very impersonal. And at the, you need it, though, for this film, you need to feel the emotion. You need to see their eyes. You need to hear their whispers to each other. You need to hear the cracking of their voice and the wavering as maybe they're nervous or something else is feeding into this, and you get that. It also transported me right there, sitting beside them or sitting in front of them and watching this unfold. Now the same goes for the direction. It led me down this emotional path and it just enraptured me till the credits rolled. I mean, I was so sucked into the whole narrative. I loved it. Bradley Cooper did a really, really good job in his direction of all of the actors and all of the camera work and just even his choosing of the shots and how he wanted to frame certain scenes was just it brought intimacy it brought happiness it brought sadness it brought tragicness all of these things and not all of it was singing not all of it was talking and a lot of it was just put together super well so that you can just you get this really deep emotional response to it the soundtrack was just a joy to listen to. And it's not exactly country or rock or pop. It's some kind of weird hybrid mix of these that I just, I was just like, oh yes, give me more, please. Feed me, feed me, feed me. I just want to hear it more and more. Cooper knocked it out of the park with this one. Now, I have not seen the original 1976 film, so I went in totally blind, not knowing what the story exactly was. I mean, I had a leaf, you know, a brief little glimpse of it, an inkling of what what was going to happen, that this singer discovers a, another singer, he helps her get kind of big, and along the way they fall in love. That's kind of what I thought it was about. And that is similar to what it's about, but there's so much more that is packed in there. And not knowing, though, going in blind, I'm just like blown away by what I'm seeing and just the emotion that is welling up inside me. Now, if you have seen the 1976 version, maybe that changes some things because you know a lot of what the story is. And so if you're seeing this one, you, you know what to expect going in because I think the emotional response of a first viewing is going to be much different than the second or the third time. There is sex, nudity, drug use, and profanity. This current version that Bradley Cooper directed of A Star Is Born should not be missed. I give it five out of five couches. What is your favorite film remake? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.